Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lucan from the Heartland Institute here with another climate fact check. I'm digging into the facts on cold, icy Greenland, specifically claims that the ice sheet is rapidly melting and is causing dangerous sea level rise. Some stories make it sound like Greenland is actually going to turn fully green and ice free within our lifetimes, but I'll show you why there's no chance of that. One of the first claims you come across on this subject is the idea that Greenland's ice sheet is melting six times faster than it was 30 years ago. But before you get alarmed, it's important to note two things. First, there has been some modest warming over the past hundred or so years, and it's likely to continue. It shouldn't come as a surprise that there will be some ice loss over time. But the second point is that 30 years ago, there was hardly any melting going on up there at all. So six times more is not all that alarming, especially when we take a look at the hard data. The Greenland ice sheet has lost about 6.4 trillion tons of ice over the past 30 years, according to NASA. But because the ice sheet is made of more than 2 million gigatons of ice, that means that it has lost less than 1% of its total ice mass. It's also important to note that pooled meltwater typically refreezes, which is why there has been comparatively little net loss of ice. One of the most sensationalized recent melt events happened in the summer of 2021, which definitely filled headlines, but the meltwater refroze and the whole place returned to normal ice levels within just a few days. Regarding Greenland's contribution to sea level rise, sea level data haven't shown that Greenland's minimal ice loss is going to cause dangerous global coastal flooding, at least not in any time frame that we can't adapt to. NASA satellite data show sea levels rising at a pace of just 1.2 inches per decade, which is pretty similar to the rate that is recorded all the way back to the mid-1800s.